Guitar Heroes, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here with a video today that will absolutely empower you to learn guitar way faster than I did if you apply these principles. So I've been playing guitar now for over 35 years. I've taken online lessons, one-on-one -on -one lessons, read books, etc. But if I could do it all over again, this is what I would do. So please learn from my mistakes. So let me tell you what these must-dos are, and then I'll drill down further, give you all the detail, and explain how it will absolutely revolutionize your playing. All right, here are those four must-dos. Number one, learn concepts in order. Number two, focus on your why, not what others are doing. Number three, practice using the deep work concept. I'll explain that in a minute. And number four, surround yourself with those better than you. Let's talk about number one, learning concepts in order. See, just like anything in life, we learn things best when we learn them in order. You, you did not learn multiplication before you learned addition, okay? You learned the letters of the alphabet before you learned how to put them together and create words, and the words to create phrases, and the phrases to create sentences, paragraphs, and so on. So we've got to learn things in order. There's no need for you to attempt the F chord if you can't play the D or A chord first, right? Doesn't that make sense? Sure it does. And when it comes to guitar, this is the kiss of death to most guitar players where they think things like, my hand's too small, Eric, no, seriously, my hand is too small, or my fingers are too fat, or whatever excuses that people use. Those are never the excuses after 30-something years of teaching. I know this, I've taught thousands of lessons. Those aren't the things that are stopping people. The things that are stopping people playing is that they're not learning things in order, and so things seem real easy, and then all of a sudden they seem really hard because they're leapfrogging something and not doing the lessons that come before them. This is why I teach all my courses with step-by-step -step process and write all my books in the same way. Okay, so learn concepts in order. How do we know what is the right order? Well, you're gonna do that by finding a good teacher that's going to teach you step-by-step -step or a good methodology or book that's teaching you step-by-step, step, something that has lots of great reviews and people are saying, hey, this is working for me. That's what you wanna do. Or find a great one-on-one -on -one teacher that's gonna do the same. Number two is focus on your why, not what others are doing. What do I mean by my why? Well, first off, it's your why. Why is it that you are playing guitar? Very, very important, right? It would be comparable to looking at another guitar player who's doing something that you don't want to do and envying what they do as when you see, you know, one person looking at somebody else on Instagram, looking at the way they look or the way they dress going, gosh, I want to be that way. It's really important to define what your why is. If you are wanting to be a great blues player, why would you focus on learning jazz modes or learning how to read music or learn the classical guitar if everything you want to do is blues. So important to define what your why is and focus on that. When you do that, when you focus on your why, your practice becomes so much more effective because you are constantly moving forward. Uh, this equates to quicker and larger returns of, of your investment in time. If I wanna get good at blues, I'm gonna practice things like blues scales and blues chords and blues chord progressions, blues turnarounds, etc. So focus on your why and don't focus on what other people are doing, what their whys are. Number three is practicing using the deep work concept. So Deep Work is a book by a gentleman by the name of Cal Newport, a really smart dude who basically shows you how to push your brain to a place that will actually allow your brain to literally grow myelin around your neural synapses. What does that mean, Eric? Well, basically what that means is if you're practicing the same old thing all the time, you're not building myelin in the same way that you would with deep work. To utilize deep work or to use this for your practice, basically what you wanna do is, let's say you wanna get to know the major scale really well. You would practice that major scale 
for say an hour at a time. You typically can only do this deep work for about an hour at a time before your brain starts giving out. What this means is no social media, no anything beeping on your phone, no fo phone calls or anything that might distract you. It's like literally when you go down what I call down the rabbit hole and you deep dive into whatever it is that you're trying to learn. Maybe it's improvisation. Maybe you're working with the blues scale over a blues chord progression and you really want to get to know how that sounds. If you're being distracted every time that you mess up or every time it doesn't sound good, then boom, you're stopping your deep work right there. So deep work is absolutely revolutionary and it's absolutely, if you really study this subject, there's tons of videos on YouTube about it, search this and study it and apply this to your practice because I promise you it will absolutely change the way that you learn, it will absolutely change your playing in a very quick way and will move that needle forward. Number four is surround yourself with those better than you. So better to be a small fish in a big pond than a big fish in a small pond, right? Now, I know this because I come from a small town, so I can say it and not offend anybody in a small town, but when you're in a small town, there's a small town mentality, nothing wrong with it, but it's small town. It's what makes it cool, right? But if you want to think bigger, you have to typically go to a bigger town or think with big town mentality. If you are the best guitar player in your little town, like I was, or one of the one of the best, and then you come to some place like Nashville, now all of a sudden you went from a small pond to a big pond, and then all of a sudden I was a blip on a map of amazing players. But what does that do? Well, number one, in the small town, if you're the best guy, who are you gonna learn from, right? And then there's nothing to push you, but when you move to Nashville or you move to some other place where you're being pushed and there's a lot of competition, well, don't curse that. That's great because that's what's gonna make you strong. It's just like racing. If you're running, you're the fastest guy, what are you running? What's your goal, right? Maybe you have a personal goal to be better, but if you have people that are that are beating you all the time, there's always that ego, there's always something involved that's gonna make you want to run faster. So surround yourself with those better than you. Now, my friends, the sooner you start or the sooner you get serious on these concepts, the more benefit you will gain. I've seen great players become great only after a year or two of dedicated, passionate practice. And conversely, I've seen players with 40 years under their belt play the same way that they did the second or third year that they've been playing. So what does that mean? That means do these things, do them soon, do them often, and I promise you, your playing is absolutely going to change. My friends, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope you did, because I'm doing these for you. And I tell you what, my friends, if you have anything to say about this video, you know where to do that. Let me know how I can improve on these vids because I'm literally doing them for you. You know what to do. Thumbs up if you like it, double thumbs down if you don't like it. I'm here for you, my friends. Please let me know. Check out the description of the video. I have a link in there that's going to give you free access to my beginner course. It's the top 30 lessons or so that I teach all my students, and it's absolutely free for you. Take advantage of it, my friends. YourGuitarSage.com slash 30. As always, be kind to all beings. Do the right thing. Always practice your guitar, and I'll see you in the next video. I wish I remembered everything that I learned. I just don't remember that stuff.